Come on over this way, boy. <laughs> When I tap you on the shoulder, actually I won't because you're not wearing anything. Uh, <laughs> when I point at you, uh, so please say your name and where you're from. <laughs> My name is Lisa. I'm from Ottawa, Canada. Oh. <laughs> I'm Emily from Ottawa, Canada. What a coincidence! No. <laughs> Ladies, you look very colourful. I'm very impressed. Get out. <laughs> Do you know what was great? I heard the horse. Did you hear that there? He went, oh. Uh, <laughs> You can't hear that at home sometimes, but he went, oh, oh. So, girls, why are you here from Ottawa, Canada? For you, for you, honestly. Since high school, we wanted to come see you, so we came here to see you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're owing too soon. First of all, I don't know how to approach this without being even creepier than I normally am. So, uh, well, welcome to the United States, and we hope you enjoy the company of the appropriately aged young men that you are likely to meet here. <laughs> are you going to Are you going to Comic Con? No. No, you you, you just came here to see this show. <laughs> you, you can see it on TV. <laughs> well, that's nice. Thanks. Um, well, we're going to send you to a restaurant far away from here. <laughs> what restaurant do we send them to? Out of Sewer. Sewer! That's the great one. You know, well, they're all great, obviously, but uh, <laughs> that's the one where... Have you ever seen Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? No. Well, it's a great show. And <laughs> on that show, there's a woman called Lisa Vanderpump. But Lisa Vanderpump owns the restaurant, and it's really good. It's where celebrities go for snacks. <laughs> Have you seen any celebrities since you're here? No, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> no, I mean proper one. Have you seen it? How long have you been in town? Uh, since, since Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> it's like five, six days. What? <laughs> hey, you haven't seen a single celebrity? Is that Mario no, Lopez? <laughs> He's a legitimate celebrity. <laughs> Why you seem like we saw Mario Lopez on? That's rubbish. Have you seen Mario Lopez? He's great. He's lovely. He's been here. He smells fantastic. <laughs> Did you smell him? No. <laughs> I can smell you. You don't, you don't want to smell me. <laughs> All you're going to smell is vitamins and wee wee. <laughs> That's right. That's all you're going to get here. That old man smell. <laughs> well, uh, I, I hope you enjoy the restaurant. Are you here on your own? Yeah. yeah. Just the two of you? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> How are your parents about that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to be sending the horse with you to the... Uh, <laughs> Come on over. <laughs> Let me... <in. laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Hang on, slower, slower. Are you okay? Uh, and more importantly, are you okay? All right. Ladies, horse, horse, ladies, have a great time at Sewer. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Sponsored by T-Mobile. Now your choice is simple. T-Mobile. Unleash. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
great. Thank you. And stop it. It's fine. Thank you. Quietly. Thank you, everyone. Please sit down, sit down, relax. That's enough. Please save yourself. Some of this material tonight is very, very poor indeed. Yeah. <laughs> we'll need your help later on. Don't blow it all now like some kind of enthusiastic amateur on your first try. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited I clapped all my clap out. <laughs> clapped all your clap out. I clapped all my clap yeah. out. I, I, I was clapping and I clapped and, I, and then my clap was finished. <laughs> and I wouldn't feel like clapping again for about ooh, five minutes. Mm. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm Scottish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're very, uh, you know, clappy. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's a great day for America. It's it's Friday. It is Friday. Thank goodness. I I as you can tell, I'm wearing my Friday night tie. Yeah. Thank you. It's a you. Know, it's not only a great day for America. It's a great day for Scotland. Oh. Yes! Thank you, Jeff. Do, do tell. No, I, a woman in Scotland uh, claims that she found a strawberry shaped like a penis. <laughs> so, congratulations. So, the woman, is, the woman is Scottish, so I'm guessing she didn't put the strawberry in her mouth. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me rephrase that. I guarantee. <laughs> It's a great day for uh, San Diego, or is it? 135,000 people have descended on San Diego for Comic-Con. You know, when, when I say people, I'm referring to the geeks and the nerds and the trolls. You know, they are all... They're all... They're all down there. If you live in Southern California and you need to get your computer fixed this weekend, you're screwed. <laughs> San Diego, I love San Diego. It's one of my favorite places to stop for gas on the way to Tijuana for the donkey show. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those donkeys are crazy, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Some people wonder why uh, Comic-Con doesn't move north to Los Angeles. And the answer is because LA sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did it again because I looked up? Thanks. Now, I think Comic-Con might have jumped the shark. And I'll tell you why because I'm going. <laughs> That's it, it's over. It's like the Sundance Film Festival. You know when the Sundance Film Festival used to be cool, it was about independent film and serious art. Now it's a place where Paris Hilton goes. <laughs> I am the Paris Hilton of Comic-Con. <laughs> if I'm going, it is no longer relevant. I am the Paris Hilton of Comic-Con. All I need is a little dog and a sex tape. <laughs> I'm kidding, I've already got them. <laughs> Alarmingly, I have combined them. <laughs> I, I, oh, you that's the applause? Wow. 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 This audience is very sick. <laughs> I guess if they found a strawberry that looked like a penis. <laughs> anyway, the reason I'm going is I'm moderating the Doctor Who panel on Sunday. Now, I love Doctor Who. It's, uh, it's been on TV in Britain since the 1960s. I grew up with it. So, but there'll be people at Comic-Con who know a lot more about Doctor Who than I do. And if I don't know the title of a particular episode, if I mispronounce the name of an alien planet, I will be shamed. I will be ridiculed. I'll be like, I'll be like Paula Dean at the BET Awards. I'll be there. <laughs> I know. They ooed me. They ooed me. The hell, man. Anyway, I, I have children and a job. I don't have time to memorize obscure details about a TV show, like the fact that Doctor's home planet is Gallifrey in the gridlock system within the constellation of Castaborus. Uh, the galactic coordinates are 10 0 11 0 0 by 0 2 from Galactic Zero Center. And that's correct. <laughs> but I don't have time for that. And I, <laughs> I, I know that. Anyway, I'll be fielding questions from the Doctor Who panel. I'm guessing the first question will be, why are you here, Miss Minnelli? <laughs> you know, a lot of people at Comic-Con dress up in the uh, sexy outfits. Uh, Princess Leia's metal bikini from Return of the Jedi. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love that one. You get pictures from last year's Comic Con? Yeah, that. <laughs> That's sexy, isn't that sexy? That's sexy. I would never wear a Princess Leia outfit. I'd be scared some mean little geek would come up and go, oh look, Jabba the butt. <laughs> a lot of guys uh, go to Comic-Con dressed as superheroes. So Comic-Con is a, is a great place to go if you want to see what your favorite superheroes would look like if they stopped working out and ate only ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen that yeah, there, haven't you? Yeah. you? You were there, you went. Oh yeah, I've gone a couple times. Yeah, yeah. Are you going this year? No. Why not? I've, I've got a thing. <laughs> really? I, I thought it was stuck in customs. <laughs> no, I've, I've got a replacement one. It's made out of strawberries. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to Comic-Con. I'm going as my favorite superhero. I, the, I tried on the costume today in the office. Who was the picture? Yep, Banana Man. That's it. <laughs> The Man of Peel. <laughs> when I wear that suit, my superpower is being able to pee without anyone knowing. No, I, I can do that without the suit. What the hell? What the hell was that? Are you wearing metal boxers? <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's... So let me get this straight. Is that that noise then? Is me peeing? That yeah, noise? Yeah. That's a that's a very small amount of <laughs> pee. Yeah, that's a very vigorous. Yeah. Very well, vigorous. I'm Scottish. <laughs> anyway, some of the stuff at Comic Con doesn't really belong. Now, you know, it's like everything goes there now. Every, no, it doesn't. It's just comic books or science. Everything goes. No offense to the CBS, but you know, How I Met Your Mother has a panel at Comic Con. It's not a comic book. It's not science fiction. It's not How I Met Your Mothra. <laughs> Although that that would be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, sixty. You know, sixty minutes should go down there. That's what the CBS show that should be there. You know, who's Yoda? <laughs> Why do people keep calling me that? <laughs> oh look, it's Jabba the Butt. <laughs> these, uh, these strawberries are delicious. <laughs> that wait, wait, that sounded like Clinton. That yeah, sounded like bit, yeah. Clint, Clinton would put strawberries in his mouth, but not if they looked like a penis. No. <laughs> but if they looked like... Why don't you have this bowl of strawberries? Yeah. <laughs> I got you some strawberries. <laughs> They're right here. <laughs> oh, there's only one left. <laughs> my rusty trombone and it and it went off in my face <laughs> <laughs> yeah hang on that's one of the hazards my friend <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah. jeff jeff yeah. there you are that's how it's done thank you You know, if I was someone watching at home and I saw me get a round of applause for badly blowing something, I'd be like... Thank I could do that. Yeah. Easy, man. There's nothing to it. Oh, yeah? You do it. <laughs> I don't even have lips, man. <laughs> All right. What time? What time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from Banana Man, able to pee in his suit in a single sound. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want to do a tweets and emails? Oh, single? hell yeah. All right, then. Come on. Um, mm, where's my... Oh, here it is. All right, All right you ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why is it hot 
What did you say? I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry, I can't really understand what you're saying. Shut up. in Cincinnati. You ever been in Cincinnati? Love Cincinnati. Oh, yeah. that's the place. What, is that? what do we do? Oh, they've got very solid structures there. Yeah. Uh, Abby says, uh, Craig, my best friend is going out with a guy who's cheating on her. Do I have the right to tell her? You have the right? You probably should. If you're a girl, uh, you know, watching this. And if you're a boy watching this, you're like, don't, don't. <laughs> That's a no win for me right there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's, that's a lose-lose. Yeah, yeah. I do, do. I'm, uh, uh. <laughs> this is from Andrew in Boston. Oh, I love it there. Good people. Yeah, good, good people, time. good times. And that, what was that thing we did there? When got some baked beans. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, Boston baked beans. That's the ones that... Make it toot. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to the other baked beans that don't. Uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. Have you two ever thought of doing a sitcom together? With or without Secretariat? What the, what the hell are you doing? First of all, it said with or without. I didn't say, like, either I was going to or not going to do it. Plus, we're not going to be doing a sex job. Not real. It doesn't exist. Doesn't exist. Not a real thing. Not a real horse. Actually an appliance. Creepy foreigner. That's not going to work in prime time. This is from a Amy in Oswego in New, in New York. I think it's Oswego. It might be Oswego or it might be... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dear Craig, can Jeff read anyone else's thoughts besides Secretariat? Yes, he can read my thoughts. Uh, watch this. Ooh, I really have to go to the bathroom right now. <laughs> Good thing I've got these metal underwear. Here we go. Ah, comes out so quick and succinct. Ooh, little trouble on that one. Better have some more vitamins. <laughs> <coughs> All right. This is from Connie in Akron, Ohio. I love it there, Akron. Akron That's where yeah. they've got the tire factory. they got the tire factory. Three, three, three tire factories. Three, no less. Uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. You always seem surprised when you hear kids watch your show, but my twin nine-year-olds bounce around with joy when you're on the TV. Well, then you're a terrible parent. <laughs> because this show is not appropriate for nine-year-old children. I refer you to the uh, trombone incident earlier on, yeah, yeah. and then the uh, argument that was through the mouth organ. <laughs> This is from uh, David in Roanoke, Virginia. He says, hi, Craig and Jeff. Do you ever have actual lesbians in lesbian row, or is it just a medical, metaphorical thing? I don't know. Any actual lesbians in lesbian row tonight? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, just pretend lesbians. <laughs> it's sad, really, but, you know, it's just a, it's a kind of thing. It symbolizes, you know, love everybody, man. It's all good. It's fine. You know? It's like, oh, come on. Right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah. come on, man. Come on. Come on. Relax. <laughs> this is from Alex in St. Petersburg, Florida. You ever been there? Oh, yeah. Got a little place there. <laughs> yeah, a little, really? Little, what little record store. A record store? Yeah. What do you sell? Vinyl? Yeah, lots of vinyl. <laughs> Hi, Craig. Uh, have you always been so interested in ladies' shoes? I'm not really interested in ladies' shoes. It's just it's where I start. <laughs> Start with the shoes and then... Uh... <laughs> I've never worn lady shoes. That's a lie, actually. I have. I have worn lady yeah, shoes. Yeah, you look good. You look good at them. I know. 
I look great in women's shoes. I've got great legs. You really do. They're very, very uh, tall, very slim. Tall, tall. Covered in flesh. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of hair. Hair? There's no hair on my legs. I'm completely waxed. <laughs> so, what, you a quiet moment, you think? Yeah. Sexy quiet right. moment or just a regular one? Well, maybe we do a regular. Maybe we just kind of chill out a little bit. All right. Kind of, uh, Back up, dude. We were A very funny woman. She hosts uh, Hollywood uh, Game Night uh, Thursdays on NBC. Take a look at this. <laughs> Jane Lynch, You doing all right? Yeah. It's, been, uh, it's been a, it's been been a, a very bad, tough week. bad, tough week for yes. you. Everybody okay? For, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's tough. We we lost a. a, a yeah, I know. It's a, a shocking, terrible, terrible thing. Yeah, Corey Monteith was mm -hmm. a, a lovely, lovely guy, who, and everybody loved him. And um, it was a big, big loss for. Yeah, no, it, it's shocking. And the, I mean, when you, whenever I see something like that, yeah. you know, someone goes young like that from what he went with. Mm -hmm. And that could easily have been me. I was I was right there at that kind of thing at that time in my life as well. A little yeah. a little bit younger, but but exact same thing. And yeah. it's just awful. Poor poor kid. Yeah. 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 Hey. 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 There you go. Yeah. I know. It's it's it's. Uh, where, how do you seg from that? You, well, you, you don't. Do. You don't. don't. You know. Well, you do Hollywood game night. Exactly. I guess. Yeah. 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 How's that Hollywood game uh, night? It's great, as you can see. The reference level is very high. Duck no. <laughs> Uh, snap, crackle, pop. There's a Rice Krispies game. Yeah, it's. it's Can you say Rice Krispies? I don't know if they, uh, they advertise on CBS. Well, they do now. So there you are. As, uh, I don't think Rice Krispies has had an ad, has had a commercial in 25 years. They don't need them. They, they don't, don't need them. them. They're yeah. so darn popular. It's a yeah. hot cereal. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do you enjoy Rice Krispies? I actually love Rice Krispies. Are you kidding me? You're no, working I for didn't. Rice Krispies, no, aren't no, you? No, yeah, I'm you not. are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, you're hey, right. Hey, did you have a nice time doing Annie in New York? I did. Yeah, I was um uh, uh did uh, Annie on, on Broadway at the Palace Theater for two months, and I and do loved you know it. you know that you my son Your was son there. Your son Milo. Yeah, my son Milo. Why didn't came. I get to meet him? You did. <laughs> Milo. You what did a great get kid. it. Did I? No, yeah. What happened was that he wouldn't say that. Right. He was with his mom, and so they came backstage because he's a friend of Lilla that was playing Annie. Oh, okay. And so they came backstage, and he met you, and he said, Dad, I met Jay oh. Lynch. And I'm like, Yeah, me too. <laughs> Big deal. Yeah. yeah. Well, She's been, like, yeah. when you're on the show, he's yeah. like, If anybody's on the show, he's not interested. Right. But if he meets them on his own, he's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's his world, I guess. Exactly. Huh? Yeah. It's his world. I know. Did yeah. you have a good time? I had that? a great time. I, you know, I, I, uh, I will do theater for the rest of my life. I've, I, that's what I started doing. Mm -hmm. was, I started in the theater, and it kind of reignited that passion, if you will. And boy, have I missed it. I had such it's a good time. It's a great time. life. And you know what? Theater, yeah, huh? it is. But you know what was different between when I la last did a show about 20 years ago and today? I didn't suffer any shows. Do you remember when you're younger and you go, oh, I didn't play that moment right, or oh, that didn't go right, and then you suffer and it affects you? It's like, like all the time here. I, I, uh... And you don't give crap do you, you just Not really. move on yeah yeah well exactly. it, it gets to a point i mean i've done like 1800 of these right. things or something it's like if i do a bad one i go well just throw it with the rest you know uh... that's exactly how i felt about that and actually there's no such thing as a bad show as i'm sure you know um no, no, i i i, you I disagree madam show. yeah yeah you, you obviously didn't see the monologue tonight. I, I thought the monologue was wonderful really i can't remember it i, I, love, uh... I love urinating uh, uh references oh uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, we laughed. 
Oh. Hey, so, uh, yeah. so you, you, were, you were doing Annie in New York and right. you're doing the Hollywood game. Now, it's Sean Hayes that's doing right, that. Right, yeah. Sean Hayes, um, you know, from Will and Grace. He's a hilarious young man. He's lovely. He, isn't and he? he's the greatest guy. He's a good friend. Have you been to his game nights? Have you been invited to his game nights? No, Probably I not. haven't. No, I don't think I'm popular enough to get no, invited. Well, uh, I'll see you. I'll put in a word for you. No, it's too late. No, it's no, too no, late. No, no, you wouldn't come. You wouldn't he, come. He actually he did invite me to do the show. Oh, did you? To be a guest on the show. No? No, I said yes, and then CBS said no. Oh, really? Oh, well, well, we'll, we'll see. We'll work yeah. on it. I'll work on that. Hopefully, if we, we do more, I hope we'll do more. But um, How Sean, many did you do? Uh, eight. No, I can't do that many. <laughs> you, you'd only do one. Well, I don't, I don't want to do just one. Well, then you're, you're not for Hollywood game night. Do you play a lot of games yourself? Do you go to his, Sean's house um, and play yes, games? Yes, I, I, I do go to Sean's house and play games. He Hello. Has really, he has these really great game nights, and a lot of people come to them, and they're crazy, and they're uh, competitive and loud and drunken, and he said, let's put this on television. And I said, all right, then I'd like to host it. And he said, well, all right. Wow. And, uh, so you it, guys just make money falling <laughs> out of bed in the morning, don't you? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so it was, it was great. It's fun. And we I think we really brought that energy from the craziness of his parties and picked it up and put it on television. Do you like do you like game shows on TV? Do you I don't like game shows. I don't, really? I don't like I don't like board games and I don't like game shows. I'm not a fan. This is uh, that crazy low reference level, ridiculous blood sport that w that you play at a friend's house. It's like um, to get them to you. You try to get them to identify the, a cross section of a candy bar. <gasps> Baby Ruth. Oh, no, Snickers. I mean, that kind of thing. I never do anything like that. This. <laughs> I don't do. I, 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 I think I've gone. For the to, unintellectual crowd. No, no. I, I, just, I don't go out at all. Yeah, you know, I don't. I don't go out much either. But I do go to Sean's. No, I don't even. I don't even go to Sean's house. No, I know. Yeah, well, I, I clearly. Clearly, I've, yeah. I've been invited. No. But I, you know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Well, never mind. Yeah. Yeah, so you're back in L.A. anyway. I, I thought we were doing an awkward pause. Well, we can if you okay. want. You want to just, like, slip it in right now? Right yeah, in yeah. The middle? Let's do yeah, that. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, so I'm back in L.A. No, no, let's do the awkward pause. Mm -hmm. <laughs> can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. <laughs> See me you did that, that with your chin? Yeah. Did, did you, were you a big fan of Kirk Douglas? Yes, when you, I, used uh, to, I used to go to sleep like this because I wanted a I uh, wanted one of those too. Uh -huh. I wanted one, I wanted one of those little, you can get them put in. No. Yeah, oh, I bet you can. But I, the thing is, I want to get a ton of plastic surgery, but I, I can't. Why? Afford it. And <laughs> also, I think people would notice on the show and I would be. Right, yeah, now people know who you are, but do, doesn't this, now it looks to me like a butt. <laughs> oh, which my butt were that small. <laughs> yeah, <me too. laughs> and it is a little bit of a little bit. How would I look just like this? Hey, you look a bit like Kirk Douglas. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I used to do this too. I wonder, you remember John Davidson? No. Oh, uh, do anybody? Yeah, nobody remembers. He was C. So I, he still sings. Yeah. But he, he had, I always wanted to be a boy, by the way. So I always wanted to be. I wanted you to shock be, me. Yeah, I, wanted, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to be John Davidson. So I would sleep like this because he had the deepest dimples. And I bet this is very attractive, and I'm going to regret doing this when yeah. I watch this. I think it's all right. Hey, you have got dimples, though. Um, I have lines. No, girl. I have deep, dimples. I have deep crevices. No. You what, have do you worry about the aging process? I'm, I'm worried about it right now, seriously. Do you worry about oh, it? You're looking at me and worrying about it? No, I don't. Oh, you mean worried about it? No, 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 no. No. No, I mean, I'm worried about it for myself. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm past 50 now. Well, I'm, I'm going to... Yeah, me too. Here's the crazy thing, though. It's it's this wonderful meme in this world that, that you says you can't grow old. But if we don't grow old, then we d then we're dead. And um, I'd rather I think I'd rather deal with a little growing old. Yeah, yeah. And, you know. Yeah, no, I, I see where you're going. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, it's it's like I just noticed that after I turned fifty, yeah. everyone else doesn't seem to be getting any older, just me. And that's interesting because I see everybody else getting older, and I'm go I'm not aging. I look in the way, and I know I am because I'll see pictures of myself, especially pictures where you're not posing like the TMZ people when they catch you, and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but everybody awful. Like, everybody has a bad picture. Look like you're coming over the out of the plane or something. Right. Like, ah, I have a great fly. <laughs> That's why they're there. That I they want to get to you like that. To catch you after the red eye. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do they do they do that to you at the airport? Well, if if there isn't anybody more interesting. Well, I, the thing is. <laughs> When, do they see things to try and provoke you to get you mad? Because that's what they want, right? They uh, want... Yeah, I guess so. I, I, you know what? I'm deaf in one ear. What? I, uh, oh! <laughs> I fell for it. I fell for it every time.
every time, yeah. and I've been saying I'm deaf in one ear for over 50 years, and I fall for that. But um, I don't under, I don't hear people a lot of the time. I just go. <laughs> Do you read lips? Um, probably. All right then. What do I say? I can't hear you. Oh. No, I'm not saying anything. Oh, okay. But uh, is it like is it totally deaf? In one yeah, ear? I have a nerve deafness. It probably happened when I, I had a very high fever as an infant. Yeah, I bet you that's it, what it was. Yeah, yeah, and it knocked it knocked it out. And uh, although there's this new device that I, I, I got, and I th anyway, you put this thing in your gums. And it bounces in a little microphone in your deaf ear. So if someone talks in this ear, it bounces off the bone, the thing they create here, and your bone, and it goes into your good ear. It doesn't work. What? Oh. <laughs> Man, I was going to be really impressed by that there. I have there. to get it, as the audiologist said, we need to get it recalibrated. Because right now, all I feel like is I have this big thing here in my mouth, and it makes me talk like this. And I got it to, to, so I could hear people in restaurants. That's the hardest thing. But you can't well, there's eat a lot of background noise. But yeah. you can't eat with it in your mouth. Well, that doesn't make yeah, any And so it makes yeah. no sense. So it was like 6K out the window. But they told me they just found out they just they have a new thing that they can put uh, in the back of your head. So I don't know. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna try it. I mean, what? The all heck? right, all right. You it's know. The hard in a restaurant. You know, this is good. I can hear you because I'm sitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, but um, it's hard in. Um, also, I've got a very loud voice. Yeah, you do. I'm very yeah, loud and yeah. yelly person. It's insecurity. <laughs> it's a big mask. Yes. It is. It is. I'm yeah. I'm inside. I'm crying. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I feel that. Do you want to have a therapy moment? Yeah, oh, let's do therapy okay. after the break. Oh, all right. After the break. We'll be okay. doing a therapy after the break. Uh, that was a commercial break. I was going to say, the commercial break is a ruse, America. There, it, it, we don't have that much time, do we? I mean, we... It... Oh, no, it'll be there. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there'll be products. Oh, there'll I'm be loosening products. my tie now. Yeah, oh, good. Oh, yeah. we do, because we're doing a little we're doing therapy. therapy, right. Now, who's the patient? Well, who do you want? I don't know. I always play the therapist. Then, so. in that case, you're the patient and I'm the therapist. Good, thank you. As you can tell by okay. my hands speaking together. Oh, yes, together. okay. Um, looking... So, champ. Yeah. yeah. You used to sleep making a little butt on yes, your chin. Yes, I did. Tell, tell me why you did that. Well, I think I never had self-love. I think I always wanted to be somebody else. And instead when you of... say self-love, do you mean masturbation? Yes. So, yes, I so you're love telling love. me, Jane... I didn't you... think I did, but I... Yes, I yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. So you're telling me, Jane, that you've never experienced... Self-love? Masturbation. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I'm saying at all. What, what? I see, so... I've experienced self-love over and over again. So I see. Very young and, age. And is this how you practice self-love? <laughs> because this it's, is very this unusual. This is an approximation. <laughs> oh, 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 madam. Madam, you are so naughty. Where are we going with yeah, this? Oh, Lord. Oh, I forgot how much I liked you. Uh, <laughs> Actually, we're out of time. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, yeah. that's it. Hollywood game night, then. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, NBC when? NBC t t uh, Thursday nights. Thursday, t Thur tomorrow. Uh, uh, next, yeah, whatever. Next Thursday. We're, yeah. we're pretending it's Friday now. Uh, we're pretending it's Friday. No, so no, it's, 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 it's Friday. It's Friday. I mean, oh, it is yeah, yeah. Friday. Yeah. It is Friday. Yeah. I thought you were an actress. Come on. <laughs> as if, act as if. Yeah. Uh, 10 o'clock, 9 central. Uh, right. And there's, you know, people d uh, doing a little bit of, you know. Oh, all over the country, yeah. different time zones. <laughs> All right, Jane Lynch, everybody, we'll be right back. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit llstickets.com. Great American rock band. They are on tour now with Matchbox 20. They're here performing Come to Me off the latest album, Magnetic. Please welcome the Goo Goo Dolls, everybody. I'll be kind if you'll be faithful. You be sweet, I'll be grateful. Cover me with kisses, dear. 
Lighting up the atmosphere Keep me warm inside our bed I got dreams of you all through my head Fortune tell us that I'd be free And that's the day you came to me Cookie dolls, everybody. We gotta go. 